let's take the question number 10 this time from differential equations let y be the solution of this differential equation given by this one such that y0 is 0 if root a into y1 is equal to pi by 32 find the value of a this is what the question is talking about so let's see the differential equation clearly you can change it to linear differential equation simply divide by x square plus 1 whole square so let's write down the equation it is dy by dx plus 2x upon 1 plus x square into y is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus x square whole square this is clear now integrating factor we have to find so integrating factor of this equation is e to the power integral 2x by 1 plus x square dx that is in power it is ln 1 plus x square correct so this becomes simply 1 plus x square right moving ahead therefore solution of this equation is let's write down the solution part y into 1 plus x square is equal to integral you write this term multiplied with this 1 plus x square so we have 1 upon 1 plus x square dx plus constant of integration that is tan inverse x plus c that's clear now initial value condition is y0 equals 0 put here x is 0 y is 0 what you will be getting 0 equals 0 plus c meaning that the value for c is 0 now write down the equation what we are getting therefore 1 plus x square into y is equal to tan inverse x next we have to put x equals 1 substitute here x equals 1 we get y is equal to pi by 8 because tan inverse 1 that is pi by 4 divided by simply 2 giving us pi by 8 so the value for y is pi by 8 let's move to the question part it says root a into y1 is pi by 32 meaning that root a into pi by 8 is pi by 32 giving you a equals 1 by 16 so let's see from the given options correct answer is option number 4 so let's write down and mention it moving up to the next one that is question number 11 if alpha is cos inverse 3 by 5 beta is tan inverse 1 by 3 where alpha beta both are between 0 to pi by 2 then we have to talk about alpha minus beta let's try this question we can plan with tan inverse type function so let's go with tan alpha minus beta that would be tan alpha minus tan beta divided by 1 plus tan alpha tan beta this is clear okay now cos inverse 3 by 5 is alpha so let's talk about tan alpha alpha 3 5 correct rest term is 4 so tan alpha is 4 by 3 so mention here 4 by 3 minus tan beta it is given to me 1 by 3 simple so let's mention it 1 by 3 divided by 1 plus 4 by 3 into 1 by 3 simplifying we can see it is 3 by 3 that is 1 divided by 1 plus 4 by 9 right so it becomes simply 9 divided by 13 so from here alpha minus beta is tan inverse 9 by 13 let's see from the given options in terms of tan inverse it is given 9 by 14 which is not there let's try in terms of sine and cos now drawing the triangle again for the angle alpha minus beta this time correct we have 9 by 13 for tan alpha minus beta so the third side you can find using pythagoras that gives you root of 81 plus 169 that gives you root of 250 that's clear 250 meaning 5 root 10 
So, from here now we can find in terms of cos inverse. So, this is cos inverse 13 by 5 root 10. Similarly, you can talk about sin inverse. This will be 9 by 5 root 10. So, let us see from the given options, we can clearly see sin inverse 9 by 5 root 10 is there. So, correct answer is option number 3. So, rest second and fourth are not there. Correct answer is option number 3. Let us move on to the next one that is question number 12. F a function given 0 to 2 to set of real numbers. B a twice differentiable function such that the second derivative is always positive for all x in the interval 0 to 2 open interval. If phi x is f x plus f of 2 minus x then phi is we have to talk about increasing and decreasing nature of phi. Phi is dependent on f. Information about f is second derivative is always greater than 0 for the given interval. So, let us conclude from here f double dash x is greater than 0 for all x in the interval 0 to 2 meaning f dash function is increasing in 0 to 2 that is clear. Now, we have to talk about nature for phi. So, let us take its derivative f dash x minus f dash 2 minus x. If a function is increasing in a given interval, that means the point and value both are in the same inequality. Meaning, if x2 is greater than x1, then functions x2, then functions value of x1 that will follow the same inequality. Correct. So, let us go for it. Since x is greater than 2 minus x in the interval 1 to 2 meaning that f dash x is greater than f dash 2 minus x in the interval 1 to 2. Meaning that phi dash x is greater than 0 for all x in the interval 1 to 2. So, phi is increasing in 1 to 2. That is clear. Next, we have to talk about 0 to 1. 2 minus x is greater than x for all x in the interval 0 to 1. Meaning that f dash 2 minus x is greater than f dash x for all x in the interval 0 to 1. Meaning that phi dash x is less than 0 for all x in the interval 0 to 1 meaning that phi is decreasing in 0 to 1. So, our result is the function phi is decreasing in 0 to 1 while increasing in 1 to 2. So, we can see the correct answer as option number 3. So, let us mark and mention it as the answer. I am sure this question is clear. Let us move on to the next one. 